Transmission jammed. Proximity coverage only. Hey guys, Jacob here. This is going to be a video on how to get the Bighorn Exotic Assault Rifle. First, if you guys are new, make sure you subscribe, upload daily Division 2 content, stuff like the weekly vendor resets, weapon reviews, and build videos, and much more. But I'm going to review this weapon real quick for you guys because you can see what it does and if it piques your interest if you want to start farming for it. But most of you guys I know are going to be farming to try to get all the exotics. And this is probably one of the more challenging exotics to get in the game currently. This is the Bighorn named Exotic Assault Rifle. This is the new Assault Rifle that was added in Warlords New York update. The inscription on this is take aim, take a breath, steady yourself, concentrate, exhale, and squeeze. Total weapon damage on this is 90.6k, 800 RPM with 30 rounds in the magazine. I have assault rifle damage on here, health damage and crit hit damage. I'm just happy the rolls weren't really, really bad. Um, I got one I can work with at least and maybe potentially farm for another one in the future. The talent on this is Big Game Hunter, when scope switches to semi-automatic fire modes, dealing 450% weapon damage with each shot. The attachments on this are the scope, which is the fire select scope, the bighorn grip, which is stability, Accuracy on the carbon steel muzzle and the tension spring for the magazine, which is 7% headshot damage. Me personally, this is probably one of my favorite exotics in the game due to the fact it has two functions. The normal function is the standard assault rifle mode, like any other AUG. This does only hold 30 rounds, uh, unlike the Eagle Bear or any of the other uh, standard ARs where you can get the 50 round magazine. So just remember, you only have 30 rounds in this. The reason why this gun is so awesome is due to the fact you can actually right click on your analog stick like a C79 scope and turn this into a semi-automatic gun. And you're dealing 450% extra damage, so if you're fighting players or fighting NPCs, um, like say you're fighting a heavy and you're shooting at him from a distance, but then you're not doing too much damage to him or you don't have enough damage on your team, you essentially can switch to this and just hit him even harder by just spamming the trigger you want to kill him a little bit faster and deal more damage to heavy hard hitting targets. To acquire this weapon is going to be a little bit challenging for you guys because uh, you're going to have to do the legendary missions and there are three of them. There's the District Union, there's the Stronghold Capital Building, and there's Roosevelt Island which these are all strongholds so if you do these you have a chance if you beat them to get this weapon. Roosevelt Island is probably the easiest one in my opinion uh, due to the fact I think it took me like an hour and 20 minutes somewhere around there to go through it. It wasn't too bad. It was actually pretty quick for a legendary mission and you have a lot of room to mess around with and basically funnel the NPCs. District Union is where I actually got my big horn. I saw rifle. I'll show you guys the clip real quick here. Uh, this boss has an EMP that literally can one shot you and your team if you to it so make sure you stay away from him. But if you die you'll be good because you're in the checkpoint and you over and over and over again but after the EMP is done he will have explosives actually cause you to bleed to death if he hits you with them and then after that your team just has to knock armor and he'll go straight to his health bar which you guys will see right here but you hit him in his head to kill him if you don't hit him in the head then essentially you're not going to be able to much you can do damage to him but you're not going to be able to kill him so essentially you have to shoot him in the head so here and after a few shots then he will die on loot allocation for assault rifles, which gave me a little bit higher chance to get more AR of actually getting the Merciless and the Bighorn at the same time. So, like the legendaries or loot allocation, like District Union or Roosevelt or ARs, I'd highly recommend. Um, Capital building, on the other hand, is very difficult. Capital building is the most difficult legendary in the whole game uh, due to the fact that enemies just swarm you and there's not a lot of areas to take cover. And they literally can run up and just kill you, so you have to be really smart when you play this mission. Me and my guys had to funnel them through a certain area. That way we can just mow them down um, because they are just rushing us so much. Um, but that's pretty much how you get it. Uh, it may take you guys an hour, two hours to do some of these missions. It's taken some people 13 or 14 hours to do some of these. So make sure you guys have time to sit down and actually do these and make some builds with your team. Uh, I highly recommend using a healer style build and DPS. Um, that's what most of my guys use. And shout out to my friend Mercenary who actually helped me get through these missions and went with them or went through them the whole day uh, and got these done instantly. But that's pretty much how you guys get the gun. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more Division 2 content, and I'll catch you guys all later.